All right, before I get ready, we're gonna do a quick little Airbnb tour. Asian household, gotta take off the shoes, you feel me? Right here, we have a little kitchen area, stove, state-of-the-art toaster, fridge, little island right here. Is it an island if it's part of the wall? It's garbage can, it's, it's kinda cool. Little chairs right here. I really like this like living room space. This is such a sick space. Like, this is really cozy. We got some plants. Outside is the balcony. The mirror right here. This has gotta be like 60 inch at least. Onto the restroom. I mean, this is all you really need. When I'm looking at an Airbnb bathroom, it needs to be clean. It needs to, it can't be like all dingy and run down, bro. This is decent. The rooms start with Jack's room. So this has got to be like an Ikea mirror. There's like a, I think this is a full size bed. It's kind of weird. It's just the balcony, closet, a little lamp, little bedside stand. Onto my room. So we got the, the queen, mirror, bed stand, lamp, chair, little desk area, closet. My pickups from Raggedy that I'll talk more about when I get back to Chicago. Let's briefly go through what I brought. So you guys would have seen that I wore this the Stussy sweats, the Arcteryx shirt yesterday, along with my North Face puffer, the Nupsy. I brought the helmet bomber. I brought the Issei. Chase! I brought the Berlins, my painted holster pants, helmet. And then I brought my oil coated or some shit. Helmet. Bare knuckles, here's another bare knuckles tee. So yeah, quick little tour. We're gonna get ready and then head out. All right, I'm just gonna go through some of the products and accessories that I brought with me. So here, this is the Lilabo deodorant. This is my favorite at the moment. My Resolute Aesop body lotion. My Aesop lip balm, cedar and citrus. Here's my Melon Goetz perfume oil, the leather scent. Hand sanitizer, geranium leaf from Aesop. This is the Aesop Karst as a sampler. This one is the Tuber Use, but this is basically the uh, New York exclusive from Lilabo. And then here is the Fleur de Piel from Diptyque. I brought the Celine Sunnies, and then I brought my Thierry Lazarus. Here's that beanie I wore yesterday, the Arky. And these are the shoes I brought, the Ramones, Mainline, Weedy Peel 2s. I'm wearing the Peel 2s today. The Celine Sunnies. The helmet bomber, you see the paint, you see the holster, and the PL2 is on the toe. All right, it is significantly colder today. I'm about to get a cup of coffee and warm up. So all unroasted. So I got the chocolate, and you got the apple. Mmm, very rich. Mmm. This is warm. Is that good? I'm gonna take a bite out. Did you just put it on top of this? Did you even wash your hands? Yeah. What is this, the apple what? I don't like that it's cold. If they heated it up, it would be been... This is a cool little detail. Damn, they got the bidet toilet. The day, but that the Dyson team, you her She's a room, bro. They had some decent coffee, not gonna lie. All right, we're going to our lunch reservation right now. We're gonna get some Michelin star ramen, you dig? Here we go, here we go.
don't even know where to start. Just go for the noodles. No, go for the bot first. Yeah, it's good. It's like really good. It's really warm too. Nah, don't do that. That's whack. Damn, it's that funny, huh? Just ass loud. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, look at all that red bean under there. definitely maxed out there right now we're gonna go to the Bode store and then uh, the Rick store I had them put something on hold for me so I'm gonna go and try that on too yeah this is just kind of how you stay warm you know warm lattes spicy hot tantan man chew highs get some alcohol in your system Jack said he wants to run it back you trying to run it back All right, that was Bodhi. Let me just go and go ahead and say that their shit is not cheap. Even that t-shirt I tried on, that shit was 275, bro. I only tried it on because that's the only thing I could see myself wearing from the brand and I want to support the brand. Super sick store though. I want these boots. It's are fucking sick. to secure that John for the one time. It was the last one and I just fucked with it so heavy I had to buy. Thanks. That was a pretty cool store. Everything's like up to date collection. I kind of just went in because I don't wear Capital anymore, but I just had to check it out. You feel me? I will say there's a significant markup, and I get that you have to mark up. You already know the routine. We have dinner shortly, so we gotta have a pre dinner BZ, and that's why we're back at the Airbnb. Had to change the food. It's too damn cold out there. So we're going Rick, Helmet, Rick, Rick.
five more minutes. You tried ponsu a little bit sour. Beef tongue, bon appetit. That was Futago, pretty uh, decent experience, Wagyu, beef tongue, pork albi, tartar, everything was very fresh, very high quality. I thought it was a bit expensive for what it was. Like I feel like I could have spent that bread and just went to an omakase for an even crazier experience. But there's a lot of Japanese people there, like we were sandwiched between two groups. Felt like we were in an anime for a second. Right now we're going to Comedy Cellar, it was recommended to me by someone. It's $15, you pull up, you don't know who's going to be performing. Could be Kevin Hart, could be Dave Chappelle, and apparently they take your phone away too before they start. All right, we just got out of Comedy Cellar. That was actually a pleasant surprise. Like, I had such low expectations. They didn't take your phone away. They just sealed it in, like, a bag. So this is the bag they had our, put our phones in. And we kept it on us, too. So it's not like, you know. But yeah, every comedian had their own, like, charisma, their own energy and personality. So it was very enjoyable. Topics were different. Everything was kind of fresh, you know. And yeah, like, I didn't even know I liked stand-up comedy, but fire oh one more thing since everyone's vaccinated and they're really like strict about it they were able to sit everyone like super like close like shoulder to shoulder so we were sitting across from a couple actually it was a little weird you know but i mean you're there to focus on the comedians not like the other people in the venue you know so it worked out definitely exceeded my expectations if you're in new york check it out you feel me Oh, one last thing about Comedy Cellar. Like, I'm sure they took away our phones because the jokes are so, like, vulgar and raunchy that, like, you know, they don't want to be, like, recorded saying shit like that, you know? It's so fucking offensive and flagrant. This is the only thing to get, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give Prince Street the benefit of the doubt and we're gonna try them again tonight after another BZ, so we'll see. Bro, every block or so, like Chicago or New York, you gotta hit them with one of these. Always watch your six, bro. Head on a fucking swivel, you get me, fam? Yeah, man, motherfuckers just lacking left and right, you know, getting caught lacking. Do not be that person. Be safe, be smart. Watch your six. Holy fuck. You do not know how fucking far we just walked. In the Rickies. By now you should know what opening this door means. That's Pandora's box. Just ending off the night with some NBA highlights. I don't really care that it's not like piping hot, like eating it right when I got it because this isn't like a first experience type of deal. You get me? This is munchies, 2 a.m. type of deal. So that completes today's vlog. We have a lot planned tomorrow as well. That's when I'm actually going to be getting my tattoos. So I'll see you in the next one.